you spoke obviously in the octagon about having to consider uh, your options going forward. Was that something you were thinking about prior to tonight's fight, or was that sort of just in in the ring afterwards? Um, you know, this has been a long career, so you obviously think about things here and there, and um, you know, throughout time, and it's always kind of gauging how you feel in practice is the biggest thing. So. Um, I've always prided myself on, on being a guy that doesn't take much damage in fights, and, and tonight I got caught a couple of times. It's you know not characteristic of me, so you got to give credit to Cruz for that, but also consider you know myself as as a as a guy that just turned 37 and, and in a tough sport. So, um, <clears throat> you know, it's also consider I was coming down from 163 from this thing, so uh, you know if if I do take another fight at 45s possibly. But uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do right right now. I want to go back and watch the fight. Uh, it's you know it's always kind of an instinctual fight fight for me, and I have to go back and and watch again to see exactly what happened because we're we're in there. It's like you know you're just going and going and going. So I'd like to go back and look at it and see you know how I look because honestly I got myself in amazing shape for that fight. I mean you always have bumps and bruises and little injuries in practice, but. Um, I did the things to get myself in tip-top shape. I didn't feel like fatigue was an issue, but I did get caught a couple times and, and got outclassed in the fight, and, and uh, I don't like that, <laughs> you know? I mean, I'm fighting a, a great fighter, but um, for me to, to be outclassed, uh, you know, I got to assess things. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to make any decisions. I know we have the new arena coming to Sacramento, so that's something I'll be very aware of, and, and uh, um, you know, that's kind of a dream come true to, to, to be in that thing there. So that's something to think about as well. But, you know, I, I love this sport. I love what I do. I've always loved the fighting and combat, and, and I love to train hard, and, uh, but I want to be at my best.